You're on the leading edge of STEM education and technology. Over the past few years, have you seen a difference in the amount of technology available to students? Texas Instruments has been innovating in math and science education for more than 30 years now. And certainly the acceleration of technology in education has continued. Some of the recent trends are textbooks going digital and the growing use of uh, social media kind of replacing um, common media. Um, I think the real challenge for students and teachers in the classroom is to sort out the technology that's there just for technology's sake and the technology that can be applied to improve teaching and learning. Do you believe this has had an impact on the students in the classroom? Certainly. The, the changing technology has definitely changed how students learn and um, I think it's really important for students to figure out how to use the technology to do something better, to learn better, to be more productive, to increase their contribution to their class or to their organization. This is the lens that I view technology from, is not just the technology, but how it can be used to improve your learning, improve teaching, and improve our lives. And that's really what drives us in our mission at Texas Instruments, is to look at the technology and truly figure out how it can make a difference for, and give teachers more tools in the classroom to reach students in different ways. Were you interested in STEM education as a young child? Actually, no, I wasn't. In fact, um, um, some of the questions that you're going to ask me today really reveal my age. <laughs> and uh, there was no such thing as STEM when I was in school. And there were no female role models for me um, in, in a STEM field. So certainly what was important to me was my education. I always loved school, I always made education a priority, and I consider myself a lifelong learner. And I think the pace of technological change makes it even more important that all of us are lifelong learners and remain so. Back when you were in high school, things were a little different. What is the main difference in technology now versus then? Well, you can't even imagine um, how different it was. I, uh, I learned to love math through programming. So I wasn't such a big fan of mathematics when I was learning it the first time. I had a wonderful algebra teacher, Kathy Stovall, and I loved her, but I truly learned the value of math when I was in college and learning to program. That really got me excited about it. In terms of where technology was when I was in school, the most exciting technology that I ever saw in a classroom was a slideshow, a 35 millimeter slideshow, or um, a film. We were excited when the, the reel-to-reel -reel film uh, projector would come into the room and we'd get to see a film. I sat in a lot of lectures in front of a lot of chalkboards. Uh, there was, there was uh, no technology in the classroom. So it's, it's very different now. And TI Inspire CX makes a big difference for students and teachers in the classroom. It gives students the ability to own their own learning and have that one-to-one -one experience um, interacting with the math and science concepts. If you had the technology available when you were in high school that we have now, do you think it would have had an impact on you? Certainly, certainly. Um, now, that I, now that I have been so passionate and so committed to technology that it can improve math and science education, I know for certain that the technology could have made my learning experience more engaging. And rather than getting through math and science by memorizing formulas and, and procedures, I would have had a better opportunity to actually deeply understand the concepts and build on that learning and see the progression of the learning and apply what I learned in, in math and science to real world situations. And so those are the aims of TI Inspire CX and of the classroom technology that we offer is to have students more engaged in their learning, to give teachers more tools, more technology to help all students um, deeply understand the concepts, visualize the math and science, and, and have a stronger base of math and science learning that they can move ahead with. So where do you see the future of STEM education going in the next few years? The future of STEM education, first of all, I applaud the efforts, the successful efforts that are happening between governments, education, and business to really bring together all of those resources and bring them to bear in STEM education. Um, a, a direction that the new learning standards are going is much more hands-on, much more lab-oriented work, both in mathematics and in the sciences. 
much more application of the abstract learning to real-world situations. And I think this direction is going to get more students engaged and interested in STEM. Also, where technology is going is um, where we're taking our technology at Texas Instruments is we are going to support whatever the technology platforms are that are important in education. We began as a graphing handheld, we're moving to the software world, and as technology changes, we will be there for educators to support them in that learning. Of course, you both know that the direction is for students to be able to learn wherever they are. So supporting this anywhere learning idea is also a big part of STEM education's future. One last thing I'd like to share with you to give you a perspective on how much technology has changed in my lifetime. The year that I was born, Jack Kilby invented the integrated circuit. The year that I went to first grade was the first IBM 360 commercially available mainframe computer. All the records were manual up until then. This was the first conversion of manual records to, to being digitized. When I graduated, from high school was the first personal computer. And when I went into the workforce for the first time was the first spreadsheet. Before then, we had to do giant pads that had to be tallied across and down. So truly, technology has changed dramatically. Um, there was no internet. There were no cell phones. Can you imagine life without the internet and without cell phones? And it was only in 1990 when the first TI graphing calculator was first invented that gave teachers and students the ability to visualize the math and science concepts. So truly technology has changed dramatically. I believe it will change even more dramatically over your lifetime and that gives you and all the students like you lots of opportunities to, to participate in these technolo technological changes and make your life better as a result. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>